Elena Musa, a Russian-born fashion stylist, has gained recognition not only for her professional achievements in the world of fashion, but also as the wife of Fox News anchor Greg Gutfeld. Gutfeld is a prominent figure in media, known for hosting the nightly show Gutfeld and co-hosting The Five on Fox News. This combination of Mausa's fashion expertise and Gutfeld's media presence makes for a dynamic and interesting pairing. However, the married life of Greg Gutfeld and his wife has always been a mystery because of Elena's secrecy. This is why you need to watch this video. We will exclusively reveal all the details about the couple's life. Let's get started. Greg Gutfeld the host of Fox News' late-night talk show Gutfeld, has recently achieved a significant milestone in the world of television comedy, surpassing Stephen Colbert's long-standing record as the most-watched late-night talk show host. This achievement marks a notable shift in viewer preferences and demonstrates Gutfeld's appeal to a wide audience. The success of Gutfeld is particularly evident in its viewership statistics. On Tuesday, August 17th, the show attracted an impressive 2.12 million viewers. This number not only signifies its popularity in general, but also highlights its strong appeal to the key 25 to 54 age demographic. Garnering about 434,000 viewers from this sought-after group, Gutfeld's show stands out as a major draw in the competitive late-night television landscape. Comparatively, Stephen Colbert's CBS talk show, which had enjoyed a five-year reign as the top late-night program, managed to attract around 1.9 million viewers on the same night. However, in the crucial 25-54 to 54 demographic, Colbert's show trailed slightly behind Gutfeld, drawing 423,000 viewers, indicating a shift in the demographic's preferences. Aside from his professional triumphs, Gutfeld's personal life also reflects success and stability. He has been happily married to his soulmate, Elena Musa, for nearly two decades. This aspect of his life adds another dimension to his public persona, showcasing him as not just a successful television host, but also a committed family man. The love story of Greg Gutfeld and Elena Musa is indeed reminiscent of a modern-day romantic comedy. The couple, who have been together for over two decades, met in a manner that seems straight out of a movie script, marking the beginning of a long-lasting and private relationship. Gutfeld and Musa first crossed paths about 20 years ago under circumstances that are both unique and enchanting. Their initial meeting led to a connection that blossomed into a deep relationship, culminating in their marriage in 2004. This timeline signifies not just the longevity of their relationship, but also its depth and resilience. Elena Musa, originally a Russian model, brought her own distinctive flair and experience into the relationship. Her background in modeling laid the foundation for her future ventures. After her modeling career, she transitioned into the world of fashion journalism, becoming a photo editor for Maxim Russia. This role at a prominent magazine highlights her eye for aesthetics and her skill in visual storytelling. In 2011, Musa further expanded her professional repertoire by founding the Musa Project, a design company. Her venture into entrepreneurship showcases her multifaceted talents and her ability to blend creativity with business acumen. The Musa Project reflects her passion for design, and through it, she has carved out a unique niche in the design world. Despite their public personas, both Gutfeld and Musa maintain a low-key presence on social media, especially concerning their personal lives. Musa's social media while not extensively active, offers glimpses into her world, with posts that often revolve around fashion and interior decor. This restraint in sharing their private life publicly adds an air of mystery and privacy to their relationship, setting them apart from the trend of overexposure often seen in the lives of public figures. It all began in 2004, a significant year for Gutfeld as he embarked on a new chapter in his career as the editor-in-chief of Maxim UK. 
This role would not only shape his professional journey, but also lead him to the love of his life in an unexpected twist of fate. The setting for their first encounter was a conference designed to bring together editors from various chapters of Maxim's publications. It was here, amid discussions and networking, that Gutfeld's path crossed with Musa's. Interestingly, their accommodations played a role in their meeting, as they were placed in adjacent rooms, a detail that seemed almost too perfect as if it were part of a scripted story. Gutfeld's first impression of Musa was one of immediate attraction. The moment he saw her, he felt a strong connection, a sentiment he later shared in an interview with the Daily Beast. His initial attempt to woo her, however, was met with a lukewarm response. Musa, who at the time was working as the photo editor for Maxim Russia, initially remained cold to Gutfeld's advances. Undeterred by her initial indifference, Gutfeld persisted. Over the course of three days, he continued to express his interest in her. His persistence eventually led to a breakthrough. Gutfeld asked Musa out on a date, a move that turned out to be pivotal. In a romantic turn of events, Musa not only accepted his invitation, but also made a significant life decision to move to London to be with him. This gesture marked the start of their relationship, laying the foundation for a deep and enduring bond. The love story of Greg Gutfeld and Elena Musa took a significant step forward just five months after their first meeting. In a simple yet profound affirmation of their love and commitment, the couple exchanged vows in a civil ceremony in New York. This ceremony, held in a setting known for its bustling energy and diverse culture, marked the beginning of their official journey as husband and wife. Gottfeld's professional life, however, took a turn in 2006 when Maxim did not renew his contract. This marked the end of his time in London, a city that had been significant for both his career and personal life, especially as it was where he and Musa's relationship blossomed. Despite this professional setback, Gutfeld's personal life remained a source of stability and happiness, thanks to his relationship with Musa. Throughout their marriage, Gutfeld has openly expressed his admiration and love for Musa, often in unique and artistic ways. One notable example is his appreciation for art, particularly paintings that depict Musa. In 2020, Gutfeld shared a significant piece of artwork on his Instagram, a testament to his affection and admiration for his wife. The painting, a striking and large depiction of Musa, was created by Jeff Rohrer, an artist known not only for his artistic talents, but also for his background as a Dallas Cowboys linebacker. This combination of art and sports in Rohrer's background adds an interesting dimension to the artwork. Gutfeld's choice to commission Rohrer for this painting indicates his desire to celebrate his wife through unique and meaningful art. Elena Musa's Instagram account offers a fascinating glimpse into her professional life as a stylist and designer, showcasing her involvement in various creative projects. Through her social media presence, Musa not only highlights her work, but also shares her passion for fashion and design. In January 2019, Musa's talent as a stylist was prominently featured in Venice Magazine. She was credited for her role in an editorial piece that focused on integrating bright colors into winter wardrobes. This project reflects Musa's skill in creating visually compelling and fashionable looks, as well as her ability to adapt and innovate within the seasonal trends of the fashion world. Musa took to Instagram to share photos from this shoot celebrating the collaboration and the final results. Her post included praise for the model, Eva Mineva, whom she referred to as a very cool girl, indicating a positive and appreciative working relationship with those involved in the project. In September 2015, Musa shared another notable project on her Instagram, this time from a photo shoot with Numero, a well-known Russian fashion magazine. For this project, Musa took on the role of styling the model, showcasing her keen eye for fashion and her ability to create distinctive looks. One particular piece, a coat, caught her fancy, 
and she noted in her post that she was in love with it. This statement underscores her passion for fashion and her ability to connect emotionally with the pieces she selects. The photographer for this project was Kat Erlin, another Russian native, as indicated on her website. The collaboration between Musa and Erlin highlights a shared cultural background and potentially a shared aesthetic vision. It's common for stylists and photographers to develop a unique synergy as their combined talents can lead to stunning visual narratives. Elena Musa's profile on the Lee Book website, a renowned platform in the creative industry, highlights her impressive accomplishments as a stylist. Her work, which has gained international recognition, showcases her versatility and her ability to leave a distinct mark in the world of fashion styling. One of Musa's notable achievements was her work on the August 2015 edition of L'Officiel Azerbaijan, a prominent fashion magazine in the Middle East. For this edition, Musa styled the cover look, a significant accomplishment that speaks to her talent and reputation in the industry. Styling for a magazine cover, especially for a well-respected publication like L'Officiel, requires not only a deep understanding of current fashion trends, but also the ability to create a look that is both striking and reflective of the magazine's aesthetic. Musa's expertise was also recognized in the Parisian fashion scene. In 2014, according to her Instagram account, she styled a cover for the Paris edition of L'Officiel magazine. This accomplishment further solidified her standing as a stylist with a global reach and an ability to adapt to different fashion markets and cultures. Working on the Paris version of the magazine underscores her versatility and her appeal in one of the world's most influential fashion capitals. In 2015, Musa contributed her styling skills to an editorial piece in the South China Morning Post magazine. The piece, titled rustic femininity, likely showcased her ability to blend different themes and aesthetics to create a unique and cohesive look. This project in a leading publication in the Asia-Pacific region demonstrates her international appeal and the global recognition of her work. Additionally, in 2014, Musa was responsible for styling an editorial in Harper's Bazaar, Mexico. Working for Harper's Bazaar, a magazine with a long-standing reputation in the fashion industry is a testament to Musa's skill and the high regard in which she is held as a stylist. This project allowed her to further showcase her creative vision and expertise in fashion styling. In 2015, Elena Musa took a significant step in her professional development by enrolling at the prestigious Parsons School of Design in New York City. Parsons. Renowned for its comprehensive and innovative approach to design, education is part of the New School's five colleges, a hub for creative minds seeking to refine and expand their skills. Musa's decision to study at Parsons reflects her commitment to deepening her expertise in the field of fashion and apparel design. According to her LinkedIn profile, Musa focused her studies on fashion and apparel design, a field that aligns perfectly with her career as a stylist and designer. This educational endeavor likely provided her with advanced skills and theoretical knowledge, further enhancing her ability to create unique and appealing fashion pieces. Musa's profile on the Parsons website provides insight into her creative work during her time at the institution. It showcases a colorful collection of turbans that she designed and created, a project that highlights her talent and creativity. The description of her design process reveals a fascinating exploration of the relationship between fabric and paper. This approach, where fabric mimics the properties of paper in its folds and shapes, demonstrates Musa's innovative and experimental mindset in design. The resulting clothing and headpieces, particularly the turbans, are distinctive in their appearance, blurring the line between fabric and paper art. The colors chosen for the turbans play a crucial role in emphasizing the texture of the pieces. This attention to color and texture indicates Musa's deep understanding of how different elements of design interact to create a visually compelling product. It shows her ability to think beyond traditional fashion design, pushing boundaries to create something unique and artistic. 
Musa also took to her Instagram to share photos of these turbans, allowing her followers and the broader public to appreciate her work. By doing so, she not only showcased her designs, but also invited engagement and feedback from a wider audience. This sharing of her work on social media highlights her willingness to put her creative ideas out into the world a key aspect of being a successful designer in the modern digital age. Greg Gutfeld, in contrast to his wife Elena Musa's more private approach to social media, occasionally shares glimpses into his personal life and his relationship with Musa. His posts, though infrequent, are often heartfelt and offer a window into the affection and humor that characterize their relationship. One such instance was a Mother's Day tribute to his mother-in-law. In this post, Gutfeld shared a photograph of Musa with her mother, accompanied by a touching caption that read, Thanks for creating the best thing in my life. This message not only celebrated his mother-in-law, but also expressed deep gratitude and love for Musa, acknowledging her as the most significant aspect of his life. This post reflected the close bond he shares with Musa's family and his appreciation for them. On Musa's birthday in 2019, Gutfeld took to Instagram to celebrate the occasion. His post, Happy birthday to Elena Musa, who hasn't changed a bit since we met, was a sweet testament to his enduring affection and admiration for her. The message conveyed a sense of timelessness in their relationship, suggesting that the qualities he fell in love with have remained constant over the years. In another social media post, Gutfeld shared a photo of Musa alongside his sister. The caption, My sister and wife together, and no one has stabbed each other, showcased Gutfeld's well-known sense of humor. This light-hearted jest hinted at the familiar and playful dynamics often present in family relationships and illustrated the comfortable rapport between his wife and his sister. These posts, while sparing, paint a picture of Gutfeld's life beyond his public persona as a television host. They reveal a man who values his family relationships and cherishes the moments he shares with them. Through these glimpses, followers get to see a different side of Gutfeld one that is more personal, affectionate, and sometimes humorously candid. Elena Musa and Greg Gottfeld, residing in the bustling and vibrant New York City, have created a life together that, while public in some respects, maintains a private core. A notable aspect of their personal life, which they have chosen to share with the public, is their affection for their pet, a French bulldog named Gus. Gus, who became a part of their family in October 2022, occupies a special place in their lives and has become a significant presence on Gutfeld's social media. Gutfeld's Instagram feed, a window into certain aspects of his personal life, is replete with posts featuring Gus. These posts showcase various moments and activities, painting a picture of a deep bond between the couple and their beloved pet. The content on his Instagram provides glimpses into the everyday life and adventures of Gus, reflecting the joy and companionship he brings to their home. One of the charming aspects of Gus's life, as depicted on Instagram, is his involvement in routine activities with Gutfeld and Musa. For instance, Gutfeld shares moments of Gus joining him for meals at restaurants, an activity that not only highlights Gus's importance in their life, but also his sociable nature. This inclusion in everyday outings signifies the integral role Gus plays in their daily routines and experiences. Furthermore, Gus's interactions extend beyond the family unit. Gutfeld's posts also feature Gus hanging out with fellow Fox News host Dana Perino. These interactions not only illustrate Gus's friendly disposition, but also his role in fostering social connections. The presence of Gus in such settings suggests a communal aspect of pet ownership, where pets often become a bridge between people, creating opportunities for socialization and shared experiences. Back to Greg Gutfeld's journey with Fox News began in 2007, marking the start of a new chapter in his career in media. 
his entry into the network paved the way for a series of opportunities that would eventually lead to the launch of his own talk show. This show, which debuted on April 5th of the year it started, represented a significant milestone in Gutfeld's career, showcasing his unique style and perspective within the landscape of late-night television. Ahead of the launch of his talk show, Gutfeld expressed a candid and somewhat critical viewpoint on the state of late-night television. His comments reflected a desire to differentiate his show from others in the genre. Gutfeld's critique was pointed and unapologetic, highlighting what he perceived as a lack of originality and depth in the existing late-night offerings. Describing his competitors' shows as, as bland as string cheese and not nearly as appetizing, Gutfeld underscored his intention to bring something different to the table. He criticized the homogeneity he saw in late-night television, implying that many shows were indistinguishable from each other in terms of content, humor, and perspective. This criticism extended to the writing teams of these shows, which Gutfeld suggested might be recycling the same material and ideas, leading to a stale and predictable format. Furthermore, Gutfeld's remarks about the show's writers all reading the same columns from the same hacks in the New York Times, pointed to a perceived lack of diversity in thought and a reliance on a narrow range of sources for material and inspiration. This comment could be interpreted as a critique of what he saw as an echo chamber within the world of late-night comedy, where shows seem to draw from the same well of ideas and viewpoints. On the night of August 16th, Greg Gutfeld, known for his distinct brand of humor and commentary, delivered a monologue on his show that focused on the situation in Afghanistan and the Taliban's takeover. His remarks were characterized by a blend of satire and critique, reflecting his style of addressing serious and often sensitive topics with a mix of humor and direct commentary. In his monologue, Gutfeld made several pointed jokes about the Taliban's regressive and oppressive practices, particularly regarding their treatment of women and the LGBTQ community. He quipped, They aren't an enlightened bunch. Not only are they stuck in the Dark Ages, they prefer everyone else join them there. This comment underscored the widely criticized and backward views of the Taliban, especially their stringent and oppressive interpretation of Islamic law that often leads to the curtailment of basic human rights and freedoms. Gutfeld further satirized the Taliban's purported stance on women's rights, remarking sarcastically, their idea of women's rights is letting her air out her burqa once a year. This joke highlighted the severe restrictions placed on women under Taliban rule, where women's rights and freedoms are severely limited and traditional dress codes are strictly enforced. Additionally, Gutfeld addressed the narrative in some media outlets that the new Taliban regime might be more moderate than its predecessor. He mockingly questioned what a kinder, gentler Taliban would look like, using hyperbolic examples to illustrate the absurdity of considering any version of the Taliban as gentle or kind. He joked about the idea of them being less harsh in their punishments, saying, what does that mean? Do they only partially behead you? They only throw gays out an eight-story window, not a 12-story one? These remarks were typical of Gutfeld's approach to political satire, where he often uses exaggeration and irony to make broader points about political and social issues. His style is to provoke thought and discussion, sometimes courting controversy, by tackling topics that are often difficult and contentious. What do you think about Greg Gutfeld's talented wife? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.